Hey guys, so on this day, I told myself I'm getting ready, I should just film this, so that's what I did. It was just created on a whim, I didn't really know what I was doing, I was just grabbing products and putting them on my face. I filmed it super quick, so let's just go through it. I used this e.l.f. primer, it's like the poreless one, I'm not really sure off the top of my head which one it is, but I'll leave it down below. Don't really like it and didn't like how I it wore with this foundation throughout the day. And it also smells like, like eucalyptus. Like, I don't know, it just smells not that great. But on top of that, I just used a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation that everyone has been talking about. I like it. I don't, like, love it, so to say. I actually like their other foundation a lot more, but I'll talk about that later on and then i used the outlast concealer from covergirl it's new and i thought i should just try it out if you want me to do like a wear test on it i think i'm i will i think i'm going to um just because it's like all that's been popping up so that's what i used it's super thin but it does have some full coverage to it. I did apply a little bit more afterwards because I felt like it didn't cover the grayness. Like it created a gray undertone on top of my dark circles, which usually happens with most concealers when I don't correct them first, when I don't correct my under eyes first. So that's what happened and I just applied a little bit more. I'm also using the Miracle Sponge from Real Techniques. And then I applied some powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. Super, super fine. And it's very good. I actually like it as much as my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder Foundation. It's pretty good. And I figured since I never show you guys how I do my eyebrows in like all of my videos, I do have like my quick go to eyebrow tutorial um but i figured i'd just show it here i've been recently using the color pop cosmetics eyebrow pencil it's so tiny and not what i'm used to but it's like it makes it super quick and on top of that i'm using the wet n wild ultimate brow Mas brow mascara um i like how it just keeps my eyebrows in place and gives it a little tint and of course of course i got some in the front of the eyebrow of course I did so I used this natural bronzer from Rimmel to bronze up my face because I was looking super 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 pale and I just added some color to make me look alive and after that I contoured a bit with the BH Cosmetics forever nude sculpt and glow palette and I used the cool tone shade and I just applied that I've been like liking this little technique lately I applied it to right the hollows of my cheeks and literally right to where my eyebrow ends and I feel like that just works really well <laughs> and on top of that I, well not on top of the contour but I'm using the Colourpop Cosmetics Wisp Highlight I've been really liking this and I don't even apply it with a brush I just take my fingers and I dap it on I feel like it's the best way to put these on that's just my opinion. And of course, I plopped that right on my nose to give a little bit of a nose highlight. Again, I didn't know where I was going with this look, so I just used my Modern Renaissance palette. And I just went for my go-to usual look, like a warm crease as usual. So I used Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange in the crease. And then I used, I believe the shade is Vermeer on the lid. I first started with the brush, but you guys know my favorite way to apply the lid shade is with my finger. It's just the best way to get the most pigmentation for your lid. So of course I went over it with my finger. And then I used Antique Bronze for my lower lash line and I smoked that all out. I'll have all the brushes I used down in the description box below, but so far I've used BH Cosmetics brushes and the Wet n Wild Crease Brush.
I'm applying Cypress Umber for my outer V and this is my go-to like shape. I feel like I really like doing this type of makeup look. I've definitely strayed away from it from my last few videos, but I'm going to work on adding some color to my look so all my videos don't look the same. I'm curling the lashes and at this point I was like really in a rush because I was running late but of course I'm using my lash matic Wet n Wild Mascara Fiber Lash Extension Mascara. After that I always go in with my gold eyeliner. It just I've just been preferring it more than the nude colored eyeliner. And then I'm using BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. I feel like these are just so underrated. I don't know the name of this one off the top of my head, but I'll definitely include it somewhere, if not on the screen, in the description box below. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what type of looks you want me to create and like what colors you want me to incorporate so that I'm not using and like doing the same type of like neutral looks. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!